Hello everyone, welcome back to Lady OS. My people, the Prime Minister of Biafra Land, Simon Ekba, don't come give the speech. He don't come talk what they happen for inside the Biafra nation. So I bring the video, come make we listen to the Prime Minister for what he talk for this place. Okay, all my amazing returning subscriber, you all are welcome. If you never subscribe, subscribe and follow the movie tree please support this brafra movement okay my people make i put the full video make we watch i am here this evening with sad sadness and deep anger however i will try as much as possible to compose myself above all odds I want to remind all of us that in this quest for our freedom, we are going to use everything available to us. We pray Biafrans fiercely stop the invaders from advancing the Islamization in Biafra land and all the Nigeria Islamic representatives within Biafra territory cried out from their enablers or and Ndibo to senators to governors and to the lowest person who are representing Islamic State in, in, in uh, within Biafra land. Now the Nigeria service chiefs have joined the chorus of those crying. This particular issue has exposed the heinous truth of what has been going on within the Biafra territory. The Foreign Secretary David Macron or, Mac or Cameron or whatever he's called, he said he commits to working closely with Islamic on Israel Gaza crisis. This was said at Lancaster, the house meeting in the United Kingdom. Now, fellow dear friends, this is not just it. I want everyone to pay attention to what I will show on the screen. The message of this particular State of the Nation address today is to also enlighten the Christian community in Nigeria who has failed woefully. And we are going to have a very good measure how to deal with this particular failed and fake Christian community within Biafra territory. Going forward, I want everyone listening to me this evening to look at the screen. This is UKGov.UK, the official website of the United Kingdom government. And this is a report, press release. It says, Foreign Secretary commit to working closely with Islamic State. I want everyone to pay attention to this Islamic State and ask yourself, what else is Boko Haram fighting for? Ask yourself, what else is Islamic State of West Africa, ISWAP, fighting for? Ask yourself, what else is the Fulani bandit and terrorist fighting for? They are all fighting for Islamic State. If they can be recognized as the Islamic State, what then is the need for them to continue to carry arms in Nigeria? The reason is because they have not conquered the Biafra people. And today, 
this was being covered officially by the United Kingdom for decades. They have planned the Islamization for a very long time. And now you see Islamic State. And I want to ask you, what is ISIS? What is the full meaning of ISIS? The full meaning of ISIS is the Islamic State. And here they are saying that the foreign secretary commits to working closely with the Islamic State on Israel-Gaza crisis at the Lancaster House meeting. I want you to now pay attention to those who made up this particular Islamic State. Now, the foreign secretary hosted foreign ministers from Arab and Islamic countries at Lancaster like House, and they discussed about the crisis in Israel and Gaza. Discussion with Arab Islamic minister, ministerial committee focused on how to secure the release of all hostages, increase the amount of the aid into Gaza, and reach a long-term political solution to the crisis. Visit followed the agreement reached overnight between Israel and Hamas on coordinated hostage release and a pause in the fighting. Following the agreement reached between Israel and Hamas for coordinated hostage releases and four-day pause in the fighting, the Foreign Secretary emphasized on the importance of allowing humanitarian organizations to bring in more fuel so they can carry out life-saving work on impended, including powering hospital desalination plant, which supply 80% of Gaza's water. Foreign Secretary discussed with the leaders at the meeting how to reinvigorate diplomatic effort towards a viable two-state solution which provides security for both Israel and Palestine, and restate the UK condemnation on the rise in settlers' violence in the West Bank. He went further to say he committed to continue UK support to, pre to prevent wider regional escalation, including in Lebanon and Yemen. Then he went further to say, today I have chaired a meeting of the leaders of Arab country and other Islamic states on, on the situation in Israel and Gaza. The agreement reached last night is an important opportunity to get the hostages out. We discuss how to use the, the step forward to think about the future and how we can build a peaceful, which provide security for Israel, but also peace and stability for Palestinian people. I want everyone to now pay attention to those who have, made, who have formed the Islamic State, the nation. The foreign ministers from Saudi Arabia, Jordan, Egypt, Palestine Authority, Turkey, Indonesia, and Nigeria, as well as the Secretary General of the League of Arab States and Ambassadors of Qatar attended the event. I want you to understand how this group was formed. The group was formed as a peace committee at the Joint Arab Islamic Extraordinary Committee, is a, is a, is a Extraordinary Summit, which means Nigeria was represented and participated at this particular extraordinary summit in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, on the 11th of November. While all these things were going on, the Christians in Nigeria are foolishly shouting. Jesus shouting, Lord, and people are systematically being killed and annihilated in quest to overrun the Biafra people. My fellow Biafra, when Nigeria was amalgamated, we need to ask the United Kingdom and David Macron or Cameron, whatever the name is. We are there an agreement that after a certain period of time, Nigeria will officially become an Islamic state. We are there on a clause in the amalgamation agreement that in 2023, 
Nigeria will become Islamic State, and Biafra people accepted it, and other indigenous nationalities in Nigeria accepted it. The answer is no. The same way the 1999 Constitution was brought and forced on indigenous people, including the Biafra people, is the same way that systematically forced everyone to accept Islamic State status in this particular 2023. And no Christian, no pastor, no GO, no OG, no men of God, no others there, all this their nonsense, GUO or whatever, talking and condemning the United Kingdom for systematically supporting the Islamization of the Afghan people and every other indigenous person in Nigeria. We understand they have used terrorism, they have used force against everyone. So nobody has the guts to speak up. But hey, those of you who are in position to speak up, why are you not speaking up? My fellow dear friends, as a result of what is coming out from the United Kingdom and how Nigeria has manipulated its way because of the ignorance of those who have been overrun, who have been, you know, conquered, and they can no longer talk especially the money mongers within the Biafra land, the Biafra government in exile, and the Biafra Dictator government, otherwise known as the Biafra government, particularly are deeply concerned with this particular development, with this systematic Islamization as being sponsored by the United Kingdom and Abuja. In different parts of Biafra land, Nigeria terrorist soldiers had looted and burned homes, tortured, raped, and murdered innocent civilians of Biafra people in quest to force them and create fear into them so that nobody could rise up and speak against what is going on. Everyone watched those videos on social media, including myself. Today, we have liberated many provinces, many states within the Biafra territory that the terrorist military can no longer just go freely and burn the way they used to burn. We have all succeeded in creating a very heavy awareness that it is no longer hidden. I want to inform you, today, the barbarity of the attack in Imo State, in Enugu, in Ebony, in Anambra, in Obi Ibo Rivers, and every other part of Biafra land was palpable. The sight of mass grave from the time of 1999 to date across Biafra land and the body littered in forest like the just what was discovered in Abia State in Lopanta in the forest. The body lined up on the ground. Those kind of things etched forever in our memory. And so are the people behind the horrific stories they continue to live in our memory. The Nigeria terrorist army has committed more than genocide in our land, all in the name of forcing us to accept Islamic State. The young men with their hands tied behind their back, shot and killed by those who address themselves as security agents. We saw in Abia State where Biafrans were praying in the field. Over 150 was murdered in cold blood. We saw in Imo State those grandfathers who were shot in the neck 
while drinking palm wine in their residence in the morning, very early morning, in the old emo state. Not even our women and children were spared. Just last week, they killed many in Ihala. We saw it. Everybody shared the video. I want to inform the world this evening and my fellow Biafrans that since 2021, it is very clear what happened in many parts of Biafra state was not just a random episode. Those executions in cold blood were part of the bigger plan to silence every Biafran for Islamization, as can be confirmed by the United Kingdom today. And Abuja, it is very cruel. Cynical calculated. The UK and Abuja want to eliminate and annihilate Biafrans and also eliminate our statehood, eliminate our freedom, and eliminate our culture and values. This will and must be resisted with everything in us. They want to eliminate our national identity. They want to eliminate our sense of being. They want to eliminate our history. And above all, they want to eliminate our hope in the future. These are war crimes. And nobody is talking about it. We are not even expecting anybody to talk about it. We are going to force them to talk about it in due time. But I want to make it very clear, as the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic of Indonesia this evening, that this amounts to war crimes. These are crimes against humanity. In Imo, in Aba, in Enugu, in Ebonye, and Obibo massacre have been replicated in the Biafra land and across other ethnic nationalities in their land occupied by the Nigeria sponsored Islamists and terrorists in uniform and other forces. It is time for everyone to wake up. Another target in Biafra land on the Islamization agenda in Biafra, the plan against our children and young men. The Biafra government has estimated over 45,000 have been killed. 10,000 are missing. 11,000 people, Biafra young men and women are illegally held in custody, including Mazen Namdekano, who they kidnapped from Kenya, and over 3 million have been displaced from their homes by the United Kingdom backed Islamization of Nigeria. Today, my fellow Biafra, we the Biafra people, through the Biafra Republic government in exile, announce to the world. The firm resolve of Biafra that the not provoke military aggression, the Nigeria terrorist military aggression by Islamic State led Nigeria in Biafra land shall be ruthlessly resisted with all the means available to the people of Biafra. I've been able to show on the screen that Nigeria has been officially addressed as Islamic State by the United Kingdom, recognized by the Foreign Secretary David Macron or Cameron. And today, we wish to inform international community of the determination by the Biafra people to resist most determinedly and to make futile 
all the violence by the Islamic State and the proxy Islamic Northern Army. The terrorist Nigeria Army. David Cameron announced of Nigeria as an Islamic State is an attempt to deprive our children their childhood and their roots. It must be resisted. This is yet another blunted attempt at erasing Biafrans and other indigenous nationality identity in Nigeria. It is undeniable and it is unforgivable. It is also punishable that everything is coming from the back door. They wrote a constitution that was never a constitution and they say we the people of Nigeria. Nobody voted for the constitution. No national assembly agreed to the constitution and it was said we. And they forced it on you. So they have come to say Nigeria is an Islamic state and you have pastors who all they do is to scam the people of Biafra. We are going to impose a very heavy sanction on the church, especially those that are having services in Biafra territory because you have failed to uphold your values as people of God. So the Biafra government is putting you on notice from today, we are coming for the church, for the Christian who will make you to stand on your toe going forward. Because you have failed the church, you have failed the Christendom, you have failed in every ramification that you are being addressed as an Islamic state and you dare not to talk and you expect the Biafra government to look or overlook you when you are in a better position to educate your congregation of what is going on in Nigeria. You refuse. You can enjoy your whatever Islamic agenda in other parts of Nigeria, but going forward, we are coming with a very stringent measures against you in Biafra land. 